In this video, we're going to walk through the new formula column, how to use it, as well as a few examples of what it can do. The formula column allows you to mix the data you already have in your existing columns with functions and constants to generate new information. You can type or build out your own functions in the column settings menu. Here you'll see a list of all of the columns and functions available to use. Let's dive into an example so you can begin to see how these pieces come together. Say I employ a group of freelancers and I need to run payroll based on their hours this month. If I have a numbers column for their time logged and their pay rate, then I can create a formula to generate a total for me. From the dropdown, I can select the multiply function and then in the parentheses, select the columns I want to multiply together with a comma in between. Now I have the exact amount that I need to write a check for each month. Maybe this has been a great month and I want to give everyone a 10% bonus on their checks to celebrate. I can add another multiply function to wrap the first one in. I can put 1.1 after the comma this time, and voila, the 10% extra is added automatically. Now let's look at another example. This time I'm leading a sales team, and I want to implement a bonus structure to motivate the team. It's a fixed bonus of $250 for every team member who hits their target of 10 deals and $20,000 in sales each month. I've already gone ahead and added numbers columns for the number of sales and the total dollar amount per person. I just need to create a formula to calculate who gets the bonus and who doesn't. For this, I'll use the if function, which follows the if, comma, then, comma, else format. Since there are two conditions that need to be met, number of sales and total dollars in sales, I'll use the AND function to define them. And since I already have these values in columns, I'll select the numbers of sales column, add the greater than symbol, and put the target of 10. Next, I'll use a comma to separate the conditions for the bonus, and select the sales and dollars column. Once again, I'll add the greater than symbol, and the target of 20,000. Moving out of the parentheses for the AND function, I'll add a comma. This comma indicates if these conditions are met, then do something. The something is a $250 bonus, so we'll put $250 in quotes and add the final comma. After this comma, we'll put what we want to do if the conditions are not met. This is the if, comma, then, comma, else format, I mentioned earlier. The else in this case is zero dollars, in quotes. We'll set the formula, and now we can see who gets the bonus and who does not. We could just as easily put money and no money in the then and else spots of our formula to create a view like this. So we've covered some basic math functions, as well as using if and and functions. The last formula will go back to the math side of things with the average function. In this scenario, I've got a shop with a few items, and I want to know how much money I make on average on each of them. I've set up a number column for each month. Next, I have a function column for each quarter that uses the average function to give me the average sales per quarter, and one function column that averages all the months for the average per year to see per item. As you can see, this is just scratching the surface of what's possible with a function column. There are a lot of functions already available, and we've put an example of each just below the description so you can try for yourself. If you have any questions at all, we're here to help 24 seven.